Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're looking for ways to dress better in 2023, I've got a ton of ideas and suggestions to get you started in today's video. Everything I'm sharing with you today is about how to maximize your wardrobe and how to mix and match better with what you own. So nothing is meant to be really restrictive, or stopping you from wearing something that you might love. Before we jump straight in, I want to thank Rana for sponsoring a part of today's video. I purchased this silk slip dress from them five years ago myself, and it's still going so strong in my wardrobe, so I'm very excited to speak a little bit more about them later in today's video. My first and favorite way to improve an outfit and make it more interesting is to mix and match proportions and shapes. If we take this outfit as an example, I feel like the knit, the pants, and the bag are all kind of boxy and structured, so something feels a little bit less interesting and off-balance for me. Some of the ways that I would go around it will be swapping out that structured bag for something a bit slouchier and maybe something smaller. This immediately brings a bit more balance into the outfit. So because we've got structure and boxiness on the inside, for my outerwear, I probably wouldn't go for something very tailored with, with a structured shoulder. I would instead do something a bit more casual and slouchy, and that allows me to kind of wear the knits with the pants, but still have it look very balanced in the outfit. If I want to experiment a little bit further, I can actually swap out the really structured trousers for something a bit more silky and fluid. So in this outfit now, the only item that is still boxy is the chunkier knit, and then everything else is more soft. As long as I have that one contrasting piece, I feel like an outfit feels interesting and balanced to my eye. If you're looking to mix and match a little bit more or just want to elevate some of your outfits, I want to show you more examples so you can get started with some of the pieces you might already own. Let's take this structured oversized pant as an example. Something fitted on the top, something wider on the trouser is such a go-to for me and it's something I repeatedly do. A more wintery variation of this might be pairing a very fitted knit with these trousers and we've got some balance in this look. I would also do a longer line coat that is softer through the shoulders and the body to balance out the pants. I'm gonna use another silhouette now, so instead of the structured pants, I've got a pair of silky really fluid trousers from Grana. I would pair silky uh, trousers that are softer with something more substantial or structured on the top. And I feel like these trousers are the perfect things to wear with chunkier knitwear. Along the same lines, I will pair this trouser with a blazer. This blazer has a lot of structure around the shoulders, so it perfectly kind of balances with this softer, more fluid trouser. And even something like a poplin shirt has quite a bit of shape, which goes well with this more fluid material. Another way to think about mixing proportions and shape is to focus on the length an item creates. So in this outfit, I'm mixing this boxier top with a really long line skirt. The top has a cropped and boxy look. The skirt has a very long line sleek look. And I do love putting these two pieces together that have different visual lengths to them. So same thing in this outfit, I've gone for the t-shirt, the white trousers, and then a really long line coat. The t-shirt is more boxy, cropped. The pants are kind of in between. And then the jacket is very long line. So we've got a mix of shapes here. I said at the start of today's video that these style tips are not meant to stop you from wearing things you love. So if you like an oversized look, then you might go for a structured t-shirt, structured pants, and there's not a lot of contrast between these two pieces, but we can actually use our accessories. So for example, a daintier necklace or a softer looking boot to bring more balance to a more structured outfit. And even then, I feel like this outfit is very wearable because we've thought about using accessories to balance out the look a bit more. I featured quite a few Grana pieces in the outfits just then, so I'm gonna quickly share with you some of my favorites from the brand. This is a brand that I'm very excited and proud to talk about because five years ago when I was starting out on YouTube, one of the first videos I filmed was actually a Grana review. I have been shopping with them for over five years. There are countless pieces that I've purchased myself, but here are some of my favorites right now. So this is their steel cargo pants and this is probably my favorite item because I love the cargo pant details on this really beautiful silk material. The color of this is also really unique and then the shape is very straight-legged, very fluid, so they're very beautiful to balance out those chunkier items. It's got the elastic on the back, so it's really comfortable, but it's got a flat front, so it's more flattering, and this is definitely my favorite item of the lot. So I did size up in these pants. I would say I'm normally a size small, and I went for a medium in these. I like a slightly more ankle length, so I did get these shortened to fit. Another similar option are these silk PJ pants. I bought the gray ones myself a year or two ago, 
and I was recently sent the black pair. So with these pants, what I like about them is that they are really comfortable, so you can lounge in them. They have the elastic on the waist, they're very wide for the leg, and they also have a split right on the bottom for a more flattering fit. You can easily dress these up as well to go out in them, and they just feel very comfortable and very versatile. The two cotton t-shirts that you saw me style are these two. These feel very soft, and I do notice a difference between these and more affordable t-shirts. These are really some of the softest t-shirts I've felt, and it's got a little bit of weight to it. It's not ultra thick, but it's also not a very light and slouchy tee. It's got a bit of weight. This one is really great if you like more crop shapes, if you like a tight-fitting t-shirt. And then this one is a really great oversized fit. I actually sized up in this as well. So it's very loose, very oversized for a relaxed look. If you like cashmere, they also have very beautiful cashmere pieces. One of the cashmere pieces I wear the most from Grana is this really deep V vest. I like that the V is so deep so you can see what you're wearing inside. It's very cozy and soft. And it's one of those layering pieces that I get a lot of wear from. If there is anything that has caught your eye in today's video, or if you've been thinking about ordering an item, I do have a 20% off code with them if you use Helen20 at checkout. My second style tip that has helped me dress better is learning how to accessorize properly. I've always known and heard that accessorizing is so important, but I guess I never knew like how and where to accessorize. These outfits I'm gonna show you are my suggestions on how to accessorize. Let's start with belting today, and if I'm wearing a really soft and cozy outfit like this white one, I really love adding a statement belt to almost add a bit of structure to the look. I can either do this black one which has a really unique shape, or I can do the thicker beige one with the bigger buckle. Both of these I really like because the outfit itself is more soft soft and cozy and simple, so it works really nice with that more statement, more detailed belt. Just to show you what I'm saying a little bit better, if I was actually wearing a structured look like a shirt and jeans, adding the black belt honestly feels a bit too much. It makes the outfit feel more rigid, it doesn't feel as needed in this look. So in this outfit, I probably would skip on the statement belt and just go for something very simple or no belt at all. If I really felt like the outfit needed something along the waist, I would do a silk tie or a silk scarf as a belt because that silk material is softer, it's more casual, and I think it works better to accessorize this outfit. So I wanna talk about now these type of softer, unstructured outfits. I feel like outfits like this look really nice with more statement accessories. So with the earrings, I've gone for a really bold, green earring and because the outfit is so casual so simple i think they work really well and because the outfit is not structured i've also gone for some angular glasses and i feel like the sunglasses you know if i was wearing a blazer a really structured coat would look a bit too extra for me but with this softer outfit i feel like the angular glasses actually work quite nicely and these are some of the things that i think about when i'm choosing my accessories to sum up this look because we've got a really simple color palette and simple designs i've gone for a really bold earring to match and then because we've got the softer fabrics more cozy fabrics i've gone for angular sunglasses for a bit of contrast and that's kind of how i accessorize this look to get an outfit that i really like it's the same idea for this outfit because the knit the trousers the coats the shoes they're all softer items I've gone for a statement earring and a statement belt because they add a nice shape to the outfit that is otherwise very comfy and relaxed. If I was wearing a structured jacket like this one to accessorize the outfit, I would stay away from wearing big earrings or necklaces because we all have different body shapes and different personal style. If you want to draw the attention to the shoulders and really make that the most dramatic part of this look, you can definitely do bigger earrings, necklaces, to add further drama here. It's when you want more balance that I recommend accessorizing lower down in the outfit. So wearing a bag that's a bit lower, I think draws the eye down. And then going for a statement shoe is the perfect accessory for this outfit because it just makes the eye look around the outfit and make the whole thing feel more balanced. If you're choosing which bag you wanna use, the thing I think about the most is structured versus slouchy because this is what I think changes my outfit the most. If I was wearing this outfit with these really relaxed shapes and I wanted to dress it up a little bit, then I would go for a structured bag. Often when I wear blazers, even though this look is quite casual, I still want to dress it down further and use a slouchier, more relaxed bag. I don't really like blazers with structured bags because then I feel like I'm going to work. So that's kind of one of the ways I accessorize the blazer to make it feel more effortless and casual. The final thing I wanna mention for accessories is kind of knowing when to stop for your own style. If you have really minimal style, then you might just add a sunglass to an outfit and you're done. 
and that will really suit that minimalist aesthetic that you have. Whereas if your style is a bit more detailed, then you might need a lot more than that. For me, the bare minimum of accessorizing is that there needs to be at least one piece of jewelry and there needs to be a bit of color. So I've got the belt, which is my color, and I've got my bracelet in red, which is obviously my jewelry as well as my color. And this makes it feel a lot more complete to me compared to the more minimal take. So knowing when you should stop for your own style, I think it's such a key part of accessorizing um, because obviously then we can accessorize properly to our style. If you're enjoying today's video and you're getting a couple of styling ideas for your wardrobe, I would love for you to go give this video a like and consider subscribing if you're enjoying it. Building on the last tip, I want to take a moment here and just appreciate belts. There are so many days um, where I get ready and I just put on a simple t-shirt and some trousers. I'm not going to look super chic, I just want to get dressed and be out the door. So on those days, belt is usually the thing that makes me look like I tried it makes an outfit look more intentional, more stylish. I feel like belts have been the accessory of the year for 2022. As much as I love the fact that a belt can cinch in the waist, the reason why I love a belt is not because it does something, you know, for the body, but rather I just love the way it looks in outfits. It adds intention, it adds styling, and you'll see in a moment that depending on which belt you choose, it can give the outfit a slightly different feel. If I wanted to go really minimal, I might just do a thin belt like this one. This belt is great because it's really minimal, adds a bit of detail, but it doesn't really cut you off. It doesn't, you know, draw too much attention there, and it's just a very safe, um, very subtle option. The Cezanne belt I've had for many years, but I've really gotten back into using it this year because it's just such a statement piece. I feel like this belt, if you want to cinch in the waist, really gets the job done. It really highlights the waist. And then also, obviously being larger, it just creates more of a statement in a simple outfit. I haven't been wearing a lot of this beige color, so it also creates a bit of contrast through the color in so many of my looks. This Isabel Morant belt has always been a favorite. I think for simple outfits, this is the perfect thing to add a statement item and make an outfit feel very chic and intentional um, when it actually is just ultra simple and not the most exciting. For very cool tone outfits that need a little bit of warmth and depth, I really like to use this suede belt. It adds a contrasting texture and color to the outfit and again, makes it feel so much more elevated than without the belt. The last example I want to give is actually this fabric belt. What I like about this one is that it's very different to the others. It's much softer, you know, it's not as structured. If you ever felt like you wanted your outfit to be more effortless and casual, you can absolutely add this belt instead of a leather belt to make it feel more relaxed. I truly believe that if you wear a lot of trousers, belts are honestly the best things ever. I don't feel like they're as essential if you wear like exclusively skirts or jeans. But for trousers, in my opinion, they are an absolute essential and staple in a wardrobe. My next style tip to dress better is to come up with some unexpected or unique color pairings that you really love so you can repeat them all the time in your wardrobe. This has definitely been the year that I started experimenting a lot more with color. I want to share with you some color combinations that I really love and you can either wear these in your wardrobe or you can adapt them so they suit you a little bit better or we can just encourage you to think about combinations that do work really well for your wardrobe. Towards the end of this year, I've really been loving mixing blue and greys, these cooler tones, with red. So the grey that I'm wearing is actually not super cool but any of these blue-grey shades with red, I think just looks really nice. I don't even mind if the neutrals are warmer or cooler. Regardless, I just think these colors look so nice together. Here are two of my outfits working with this blue, gray, and red palette. And if you like this color combination, but you're not sure if it'll work for you, maybe it's too cool, too warm, too dark, then you can easily make adjustments to the gray to make it work. So instead of going for a really light and cool gray, I've gone for a deeper, warmer gray. And I think that helps this outfit feel a bit more flattering. So same thing with the red, I've gone for a fairly neutral red but you can make it cooler or warmer depending on your colors. So that's one of my tips for wearing color. Once you kind of start adapting colors you like, it makes it so much easier to take inspo and then recreate it in your wardrobe and have it turn out really well. One of my favorite outfits using this color palette is this look. And I love it because we've got a few different shades of gray in the outfit and it just makes it feel a bit more elevated than just having that one color of gray or that one shade of gray. A very memorable color combination that I just fell in love with is wearing turquoise with taupe. Because turquoise is such a bright color, I'm often a little bit unsure of how to style it. With black and white, it works, but it's not the most exciting. And taupe, I feel like, is that perfect color 
it's that perfect neutral that just works so well with the turquoise and this is one of my go-to combinations when I'm wearing this sweater. After trying this combo, I started trying out all the brighter colors with these taupe trousers. So the red also goes really nicely with the taupe. And same thing with red. Red and black, red and white are all classic combinations. But red with taupe just feels a bit more interesting and unique to me. So I'm adding this to my go-to palette whenever I wear red. I've been playing around with a lot of green colors this year. So in this outfit, I've paired it with a little bit of that deeper grey in the bag. I paired it with navy in the trouser and then also that burgundy colour. And I feel like green just works really well with these darker, neutral shades. And I like it a lot more than just wearing it with black or with white. It feels a bit more dimensional and elevated and chic. If you have more neutral style and these are a little bit too bright, then you can absolutely make these colours more soft or dusty or deep so that they become more neutral and more wearable. Color combinations can so easily be adapted to work for us. So I really recommend exploring colors if you want to elevate your style this year. Continuing on with color, one of the style tips I learned this year that has made a big difference to my style is to wear one of your best colors around your face. So obviously you need to know what your best color is and then just try to include that close to the face, either in your top, your sweater or jacket, or an item of jewellery maybe that is close to the face. Let me show you the difference here where when I'm wearing a grey t-shirt and I hold up these brighter colours next to my face, whether that's red or turquoise or green, it absolutely just has a brightening effect. I think it suits my complexion a lot more and the overall feel is just a lot more flattering compared to the grey. These are some of the colours recommended to me for various different reasons. And I just recommend doing a bit of a draping test on yourself, figuring out if you like cooler or warmer colors or which one looks better, whether lighter or deeper shades look more natural, and then figuring out the intensity of colors, so whether dusty colors look better or brighter. And these are some of the things that help me decide now whether something will be a good color to wear in this top half. This tip has been super helpful because if I'm ever not wearing one of my best colors, I can actually use something kind of close to my face, whether that's a scarf or an earring, to try and improve that color and make it feel more flattering on my skin tone. So again, it's not like you can never wear colors that are not right for you. For me, it's that you can mix it with a color that is good for you to make the outfit overall feel more flattering. This is one of those tips that I feel like I use in pretty much any outfit I wear now because I've seen what a huge difference it can make. My next little tip is that layering can make any outfit feel more intentional and chic. I've always known this advice, but I've never been sure, you know, which pieces to layer with which. So here are some of my suggestions. What I found is that vests are really the perfect piece to layer with. I sometimes find that when you put on too many jackets or too many knits, it starts to feel very uncomfortable. These first two outfits, I feel like perfectly shows why I love layering. We've got two very simple looks and simple color palettes. Without the vest, I honestly will find it a bit boring, but the vest just adds that additional item, that additional texture and color into these neutral outfits. It might just be a little bit of gray, but having those subtle changes in the tone, I think really helps make an outfit feel a bit more dimensional. With this brown vest, I style it in these two outfits. And in the first one, I just have it worn open inside a cardigan. Here again, the vest is that additional kind of middle piece. This time we're adding a pattern through the vest. And this is honestly why layering feels more chic. We get more of those patterns and textures and colors going on in an outfit. If I wanted the vest to be a bit more practical in winter, you can definitely zip it up, wear it inside the cardigan, throw the coat on over the top. We're super warm and cozy, and then we'll use layering to make the outfit feel a little bit more chic. If you have a lighter blazer, maybe for summer or the transitional season, you can do the same thing by layering it underneath a coat. This is one of my favorite ways to layer. I love a blazer, and I want to wear them all year round. So this is my way of wearing it when the weather gets cooler. Something I did recently that I really liked was adding a pop of color knit on the inside layer and then putting a knit over the top that has a slightly lower neckline. I really love this way of layering because it feels very intentional and I love adding that pop of color around the face. Any layering for me makes an outfit feel more intentional, more chic, but I especially love it when we're layering with colors and textures and adding that to an outfit. If you enjoyed today's video, I think you'll like these ones too. Also, in a week or two, you'll see me back here with a new channel name. I'm ridiculously excited about this change. 
So just a little heads up so you'll know it's me. Thank you again to Grana for working with me in today's video. It was such a pleasure. And if there's anything that caught your eye, I do have my 20% off discount code linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having an amazing start to 2023. And I'll see you soon. Bye.